Welcome. Man, I want to show you something I've been teaching at the academy lately. It's part of a whole sequence of offense that flows off of the spider guard against a kneeling opponent. And I'm going to break down the entry from close guard and also one of the attacks from the sequence I've been teaching. So let's go right into it. I think I can give you some details that extend beyond this particular technique. So we're in close guard and one of the advantages of using close guard as my, my base of operations before I go into an open guard is because it allows me to set my grips in the way I want to set them. And what I want for this transition is two sleeves. You know, I want sleeve control. But the big thing is like when I get this, I'm using a cast ball grip, I want to take all the slack out of the grip because I have that slack, it's very easy for him to rip the grip. It's like if he pulls back here, I'm going to feel a lot of pressure on my fingers. And now I have to really fight to keep this grip. As opposed to what we're going to do. I'm going to do the same grip, but I'm going to turn it to the outside and then turn my knuckles in. So I'm like, I'm kind of sucking my elbow in, boom, knuckles, grip, knuckles. Now when you try to pull away, it's a lot harder. I feel less pressure on my fingers, means that I can maintain this longer, which is awesome. All right, so let's transition. So I'm going to spider from here. I'm going to transition by bringing my foot to the hip, like one foot at a time. All right, it's not both because it's too much space, just one. And then pinch tight. So when he tries to move, super difficult. Then pinch, and then we kind of like bridging off his hip. He tries to move. Then I'm going to choose a side, bridge on my shoulder. And then right here, I strength out. And then right when my knees come in, I'm going to put foot on the bicep and I'm feeding the, I'm feeding the bottom side. So opposite the direction my hip moves. My hip moves to the left, my right foot goes in the bicep. And the reason why is because I want to stretch him out on the entry. So right here, you see how he stretched out? It makes it really hard for him to stand up. If I fed like this, like he can stand straight up. And then he start like grabbing the pants, shucking the leg, all that fun stuff I don't want to deal with. All right, so instead I feed it this way, stretch him out, and I'm kind of, one leg is standing, one leg catches behind the armpit and pulls. All right? And this is going to be on my base of operations. This week in my academy, I'm going to teach you this whole sequence, like starting from this position. All right? So from here, like, man, he tries to move, he tries to stand up. It's super hard. I'm breaking his posture. I'm pulling him in. I'm stretching him out. I have a good amount of tension control where I'm pushing and pulling him at the same time. Now, look, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to kick this leg through. As I do it, I'm going to also rotate his wrist. And there's an arm bar you can hit here if you hit it in the right spot. Tap, tap. Right? But, you know, if you rotate the wrist and his elbow's pointing up, you won't get it. That's what we're going into our attack. We're assuming that he's going to give us that response. And look, I'm going to keep that spider hook to keep some stretch out. I'm gluing his hip, hand to my hip. So when he tries to move here, it's still hard. And look, I'm just going to suck myself in and kind of put that hand inside my pocket. And then I'm grabbing my own thigh, holding tight. So when he tries to move, super hard. Then this hand is going to reach across, thumb into the far collar. Elbow locks down, he tries to move, super hard. And look, my hip is going to start turning in, me going to this guy, kick through, come across. All right? And ideally, I would like him to look this way. That makes sense? So I was here, I suck him in, knee goes to the sky, thigh closes, knees pinch, and now I have a diamond. Still controlling the sleeve. Leg comes over, I make an adjustment and lock up. Now from here, look, I'm still keeping, keeping a sleeve. He can try to move, he can try to stack me, he can try to cut the angle hard. All that fun stuff, but I'm punching that sleeve away. Because if he grabs me on the collar, man, he might be able to shift across and like smash my knee to my chest, stack me, you know, past the guard. But with this sleeve, I'm just stretching him out until I start pinching. And then once I pinch, it's over. Or it's over. All right. Some ideas to play with. Um, I am planning to do a whole series on this for micro adjustments, everything I've been teaching this week in the academy. Um, 
should be interesting. Look forward to it.